Today we've got a really interesting pattern that I'm going to show you how to create faster and better. So let's see how it's done. Step one, select the stroke and let's select the rectangle. Press and hold shift plus alt, scale it, create a rectangle. I got to go to the object, path, and let's go to split into grid. I'm going to increase the number to eight by column eight. Click OK. I got to go and decrease the stroke, right click group. I'm going to select the rectangle again, create another rectangle. I'm going to swap this from stroke to fill, recolor it. I'm going to go with gray and I'm going to deselect and select the black color and select the rectangle again. I'm going to go here to the center and create a thin line like this. I'm going to press and hold shift, rotate it, increase it more. And I'm going to do another copy of this. So I'm going to select this uh, gray rectangle, press and hold shift, also press the black one. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it here into the next box, make sure to intersect. And I'm going to make this wider, press and hold alt. I'm going to select this shape, press and hold shift. Now let's go to the pathfinder, click on intersect. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Now I'm going to select this thicker one and position it to the bottom right corner. And now I'm going to go and select the thin one, press and hold alt, drag it to the right. Also press shift to isolate, make sure to intersect. And I'm going to select again the left one, press and hold alt, drag it down. Also press shift, make it intersect. There you go. And we're going to go and select the blend tool, double click, select specify steps. So as you can see here, we got eight squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus two, because these two are occupied. So that's going to be six and I'm going to decrease it to six, click OK. And now I'm going to select this thin one connected with a thick one and the thick connected with a thin and click on this again and connect it with the other thin. Didn't work, press control Z, do it again. I'm going to click and click again. Now it worked. There you go. Go to object expand, click OK. Now I'm going to go and delete the rectangle grid. And from here, all you need to do is select the blend and connect this thin one with the thick one and do the same thing with the rest. Make sure to select separately these. So now I'm going to select the selection tool, go back to blend and do it again. Selection tool, blend, do it again. Of course, this won't work all the time correctly. I'm going to press Ctrl Z and I'm going to do it again and it's going to maybe correct it. I'm gonna start with this to this. Oh, there we go, now it worked. Let's select all, go to object, expand, click OK, right click, group. Press and hold shift, scale it down, select the rotate tool, press and hold alt, click on this corner anchor point right here and type in 90 degrees, click on copy, press control D, control D again, and there you go. And that's how you make this really dope pattern here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.